So guys, in this video, we're going to be looking at this, which is the BenQ 3501R. It's a 35 inch ultra wide monitor, and we have been really impressed. So the first thing to say about this monitor is it looks absolutely stunning. And that's not just from the front. From the back, it almost looks better. And this would be brilliant in one of those open plan offices where you can see the back of this because it looks absolutely beautiful. So when you've dragged yourself away from looking at the back of the monitor, you might want to set it up. And on the arm there, there's a really handy hole which you can pop your lead straight through and connect them all up underneath. So speaking of connections, you have two HDMI 2.0, a display port, two USB 3.0 downstream, and one USB 3.0 upstream. There is also the very useful USB Type-C, which enables one lead power and data. So this is a really good looking screen and it looks great on any desk, but you may want to have the ability to make it slightly adjustable. So you'll be pleased that there is a 15 degree tilt in terms of the angle of the display. And also if you wanted to raise the display and make it a little bit higher, you can just easily push from underneath and then you've got a six centimeter vertical lift as well. Now, one thing with these larger 35 inch and wider displays is sometimes they sit quite far out onto the desk. But this one, the BenQ, is only eight inches from front to back, and that works out to be around 20 centimeters. So you still got the majority of your desk to work with. Okay, so let's get on with the star of the show, and that is this screen. It is a 35 inch ultra wide 1800R curvature. It has a resolution of 3440 by 1440 and is LED blacklit. The brightness level is set at 300 nit and it has a native contrast of 2500 to 1. So if you're going to use this as a gaming monitor, then you're going to be very happy with a response time of 4 milliseconds and a refresh rate of 100 hertz. The aspect ratio is, with all of these ultra-wide, 21.9, and yes, it does have HDR. Now, it also has a great dynamic contrast ratio of 20 million to 1. So this model has a really comprehensive menu system where you can make loads and loads of different tweaks and picture adjustments, but it is accessed via quite a fiddly little system underneath where you really do need to learn the controls before it's very simple to navigate through. So that will take some time in getting used to, but once you're there, it does mean that you can set complete custom screens and that you can tweak as much to your heart's content. So I know not everyone is a fan of a curved or ultra-wide monitor, and it really is down to personal choice. Now, I've been using one for just over a year, and I've found that I've grown to like it more and more. Previously, as you can see in the top right corner, I had two Acer 27-inch 1080p monitors, which, you know, I was happy with. It gave me loads of space to work, but I just didn't like the awkwardness of the look and the fact that there were wires everywhere, double the plugs, and all of that. So that's why I went for an ultra-wide curved screen and in terms of real estate you get absolutely bags of space to be working on. So where these monitors do come into their own is if you're working on them. So for instance, I do a lot of Final Cut Pro work and that timeline at the bottom that I can see the full length of a video is brilliant. And also if you're using applications like Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom, again, you're doing the same type of thing. But even if you're just into websites and you want multiple screens open, it does mean that you can have three screens open or three pages open at any one time, side by side, and you're not losing any of the information. So you get so much more options option to play about with different web pages. It works really well. So another nice feature for this monitor is the ambient light sensor. Located just underneath the BenQ logo, the ambient light sensor will detect ambient light levels and the color temperature in the viewing environment. And then it will automatically adjust the on-screen brightness and the color temperature to reflect the environment that it's in. Okay, so on to price, and this has now come down in price since it was originally released at the end of 2017. So now in the UK, you can pick this up currently for £608, which is an incredible price for a curved ultra wide screen and in the US it's $799. There will be links in the description so you can follow those and check it out for yourselves guys but this is a stunning stunning monitor at what is now an incredibly good price. So if you want to dip into the world of ultra wide curved monitors then this 
BenQ monitor could be for you. Or if you're like me and you're gonna spin it round and just look at the back of it, because it is so beautiful, then you might wanna pick this one up too. But guys, in all seriousness, it's a great monitor. Check it out for yourself with the links in the description. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you on the next.